What's up my central unit, it's the central man here, so this is my review of NXT, NXT UK World Collide 2020. This show was in the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. The commentators for the show are Tom Phillips and Nigel McGuinness. So we're going to start with the pre-show match first. So the only match on the pre-show, uh, we got Mia Yim taking on Kaylee Ray, the reigning defending NXT UK Women's Champion. Um, this match was decent. It was a really good match. Not really good, but it was decent as far. Um, the shocker for me, I, I was going for Mia Yim to get the victory on my prediction show, but I was wrong. Uh, Kaylee Ray got the victory um, because they did this type of roll-up. Uh, yeah, Kaylee Ray did a roll-up on Mia Yim while grabbing the ropes to score the victory. Okay, the, the first match to kick off the main show, we got Finn Balor taking on Ilka Jugunovic. Good opener, man. Really good opener. It was physical at some point. Um, you know, like, yeah, like, like, every time, like, uh, Dragunovic was trying to do a high fly move, Balor just got out of the way, you know, like, what, he was about to do a, uh, was it a drop, uh, sliding, uh, baseball, uh, drop kick, but Balor playing possum. He was about to do a double hammer, act, what was it, double act ham, hammer, but Balor just got out of the way. Balor got the victory. He hit the, um, the coup de gras. And the 1916 to score the victory. Okay, and then we got a fatal four-way match for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Um, Angel Garza, the reigning defending uh, NXT Cruiserweight Champion, defendable against Aisha Swerve Scott, Travis Banks, and Jordan Devlin. Fun. This was a fun cru uh, fatal four-way man. You know, uh, like one moment of the match, you had like. Um, Garza grabbed Travis Banks. He was about to do a move on Travis Banks. And then you got like, um, fuck, who's the fuck his name? Devlin. Devlin kind of gone onto Garza's shoulders. And then he did, um, I think um, Aisha Scott did a, I think he did a knee on the top rope onto Garza. It was kind of like a good spot. I can't really pronounce it that well, but um, in the end, uh, Garza hit the, um, what's it called? The. Wing Clipper, I think it was on, I think it was on Scott or Banks, I'm not 100% sure. And then Devlin hit the, what was it called, Devlin, he, you know, Joe Devlin hit uh, his move, his finisher, I don't, you know, I can't, I don't really, I don't really, so I don't really, I'm not familiar with NXT UK, I don't really watch it that more often, but, yeah, Devlin hit the finisher to score the victory, and Devlin won the Cruiserweight Championship, you know. I was shocked. I, I thought Angel Garza will retain because he just won the belt a month ago. So, it's what it is. Anyway, moving on to a tag team match. Uh, we got um, DIY taking on Mustache Mountain. This was a really good tag team match. Physical, a lot of tag team maneuvers. Um, you know, I think like... Uh, Mustache Mountain was about to almost won. Like I think he, they hit their tag team finisher onto I think it was on Gagano or Champa. Um, in the end, they were they were unfortunate. You know, DIY got the win. Hit the um, I think it was a super kick. I think it was a running. I think uh, I think it was Tommaso Champa hit the um running knee onto I think it was on Trent Stephen or Tyler Bate. I think it was on Stephen to score the victory. Good win for DIY. Okay, and then we got the um, women's, yeah, the NXT Women's Championship match. Uh, we got Rhea Ripley, the champion, defending belt against Tony Storm. The match was, eh, it wasn't a bad match. It was nothing special. It was okay, for sure. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like a five-star match. But it was so predictable that Rhea Ripley will leave uh, Houston as reigning defending NXT Women's Champion. I was right. Ripley hit the um the rip tie on Tony Storm to score the victory. Okay, and then we got the the yeah, the match of the uh, the really the main event match of the night and also the match of the night. We got four members of Hyperion taking on all four members of Undisputed Era. Too much spot uh, there was a lot uh, I'm not going to go in details of the the match but 
it was a war between Epirian and Unspeed Era. There were, it was back and forth, a lot of tight team maneuvers, high flying spots. I think like Car Volta was kind of like the MVP in this match. He took out all four members. He just like beat beat all four members of the Unspeed Era, man. He's he's the MVP, man. But for, for sure, man. In the end, um. Yeah, Walter hit the um I think he hit a power bomb on to Bobby Fish to score the victory and Aperion won. I, I was going for the Unspeed Era, but Aperion. I'm kinda like into Aperion a bit because Imperion's like a type of European wrestling faction. You know, the because they've come from Europe they go from European countries like you got Walter come from Austria, Marcel Buffal and Wolf are from Germany. And Agnes from Italy. So, anyway, uh, in the end, in the end uh, my final rate for the show. I'm going to give this 9 out of 10. A really good show for both NXT and NXT UK. Um, yeah, I think like MVP for me has to be Volta. The second match of the night has to be the, the tag team match between oh. DIY and Mustache Mountain. No, like, bad matches, but... And, oh yeah, by the way, the one segment on on this show, you had, um, I think it was, um... Dakota Kai and Taken Knox. They had this, a little brawl. I'm guessing they're setting up for their match at TakeOver Portland. That's next month. So, anyway, that's my review of NXT, NXT UK Worlds Collide. Hope you like it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Section Mac Network on YouTube for more wrestling videos. Live streams and movie reviews and more. This is a Sedge Man officially signing out.